Okay, so it's day number <clears throat> two, I'm going to call it, because day one was the travel day, right? Look how high up we freaking are, or how low the clouds are, depending on how you want to look at it. Like, do y'all see that? That's how close we are to the ranges, I guess. I want to go down there and have a look. Because look, there's like a, a river that just runs straight through there. That's pretty cool. Um, for the most part, I feel like this town is just revamping itself. I mean, it's cool because there will always be people coming to Colorado through here. Which means... They need to upgrade their roadworks instead of small two-lane roads like they used to. Um, it's time for them to go to four-lane roads. Mm. There's a set of mountains called the 14ers. You know where they're called that? Because they're from? higher than 14,000 feet. Where is that? Around the, the world. Ers. A lot of well, uh, majority of them are here in Colorado. Wow! Look at those ones. Those are the ones. See those? Wow! They look like gods. Maybe I should switch to polytheism. That's the kissing camels. How kissing? Kissing camels. Oh, how? I don't know. I can see it, but I can't describe it. Here at the Garden of the Gods in Colorado. Look at that. That just looks awesome back there. Oh. And we're about to just fill up some water bottles and then we'll go for a walk. So, hey Joe, how long's the walk? Not long. So, are we expected to get altitude sickness? No, not yet. When would we get altitude sickness? Like, hikes. I see. Hmm. Why is it when I walk into gift shops, all I want to do is just buy something? That's okay. That's okay. It's all, what's the phrase? Taken into account, I suppose. Um, so they sell a Patagonia hat here, which has their own brand, like their own thing that says Garden of the Gods, which I was like, okay, cool. I mean, we'll just get the, just get the hat for now. And then we can pick up things to buy for the people later. So we're here. Garden of the Gods, everybody. Let's go for this walk. My brother has been gracious enough to lend me his fanny pack. <laughs> Hold up. through this canyon. Ooh, no, that's too close to my face. And let's just like turn around and have a look at what we have around us. Like 360 pans. Like, how hectic is that? Like the height of that? Oh my god. We got people rock climbing here as well. Which means Adventure is out there, and that is why I made this video, uh, this YouTube channel, really. Also, I'm rocking a new Patagonia hat, and I love life. I'm loving life. For 
this view. This view is lit. You ready? Oh shit. What? <sighs> now, the daredevil in me says, go up that way. But the logic in me says, it says unlawful entry. So, probably not. Although it would be nice. Alright, Joel, so where's the next? Where's our next go? Seven Falls. How far is that from here? 30 minutes. Alright, let's be on our way. We're about to make our way to Seven Falls here at the Broadmoor. So, and three, two, one. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Welcome to America, where shopping isn't everything. And out here, people could care less what brand you're rocking. Walking up. Nah. Fun fact I hate heights, and look at how high we are. I have purposely put the uh, front view, the camera, the screen, so I don't see behind me because that'll just freak me out. Just keep taking steps forward, keep moving forward, keep walking. And don't turn around until you get to more solid ground because and oh my lord. Oh halfway to the top. On the way down, oh, just take the elevator. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Okay, let's go. Devil's Needle, we can't actually see it. Okay. You want to know how you go down? Take those stairs. Look at these stairs, mother. You sure you want to walk? No. You got to walk it. I think. Oh, I'm going to shit myself on the way back down. You know what? 
Let's just cut. All right, so we made it up the first set of steps. That's waterfall number two. Okay, we're going to to the top. I guess it's all right. Nothing too bad or scary about it up here. Might be a long way down. Woo! All right, so the hardest part for me isn't the walking up, it's the walking down. So I kind of just look down. <laughs> so before we move to the bra of the Pikes Peak, we're gonna get food at Thai satay. So whenever you or if you're like my parents, Thai satay. <laughs> I usually dwell at sea level. Being up this high has given me a bit of a headache. Um, so I'm going to take a nice sit down and nice deep breath in and out. So I don't have to deal with altitude signals. Yeah.